It's 5 a.m. and I've joined an endless trail of tourists in tuk-tuks tootling out here. And depending on the brochure you read, this is either the sixth, seventh or eighth wonder of the world. But you've got to catch it at sunrise. And look, look, here they come. The tourists, like lemmings to the cliff edge, smartphone at the ready. There is a palpable sense of anticipation as the cloak of darkness gradually lifts to reveal what is arguably the most famous temple in the world, Angkor Wat. Unfortunately, the sun didn't exactly rise to the occasion. I'm kind of overwhelmed by a sense of anticipation. But there's no doubt this is one of the few places on the planet so majestic it quite literally sucks the breath from your lungs. It's testament to the almighty attraction of this powerhouse that the lack of sun hasn't deterred these snappers, eager to capture the glorious spectre of Angkor Wat in any light. Angkor means heaven on earth, which is how this ancient Hindu civilization chose to describe Southeast Asia's very first metropolis. Khmers were working, worshipping and washing here well before even Bangkok was imagined. But at the front gates of Angkor Wat, there are remnants of more recent, less heavenly events. It was 1979 and the Khmer Rouge were on the run. The South Vietnamese had come to liberate the country and were holed up in here, believing a religious monument offered them some kind of protection, I guess, as the last vestiges of the bloody Khmer Rouge rule retreated to the north of the country. These were just a few of the parting shots. Ultimately, they met with their comeuppance. Proof you should never mess with the gods. Across the bridge is the main temple, and getting up at sunrise with scenic has the added benefit of getting a bit of peace, quiet, and time for contemplation, at a location that attracts over two million tourists per year. The centrepiece of Angkor Wat represents Mount Meru, the Hindu seat of the gods, and the structure behind me is based on the bud of the lotus flower, symbolising purity. And the whole thing is the divine inspiration behind the hairdo of Marge Simpson. Wandering through what has survived the centuries to become the world's largest religious building is an experience comparable to only a few other sites on Earth, and I defy any visitor not to absorb the unmistakable aura of this place. And how have you found the temples? Oh, they're they're amazing. beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. Certainly a lot of history and a lot of different layers from yeah. when different periods occupied the temples. But to think that it was all built by hand and still standing, mm. unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. 